Good morning and thank you for stopping by. Today's video is in continuation of my last two videos wherein I argued that digital is not a strategy by itself. It is an amplifier to the strategic choices that an incumbent makes. And I, I kind of discussed it with the instances of Hindustan Unilever and the French retailer Carrefour. Extending the argument, today I'm going to introduce to you the interesting case of L'Oreal. L'Oreal, uh, as we all know, is a beauty conglomerate and how L'Oreal is using technology to transform the very nature of beauty from being standardized, product-driven, uh, top-down top -down methodology to something which is more inclusive. And it's doing all of this uh, by by A, first making a strategy choice and following up through a set of technology initiatives which enables it to, to happen. So with that, let us kind of move to the presentation. And the presentation is titled, you, Using Technology to Deliver Globalization. Globalization, and I'll talk about it as we go along, is its dominant strategy, wherein it is, while big beauty is transforming itself from standardized template into being inclusive and curated uh, products which respects every regional difference and offering and and its purpose statement is to offer best of beauty in terms of quality efficiency safety and responsibility and these are not words as we will move along as we move along with the presentation we will see that all of this find meaning in specific initiatives and investments that the company makes a little bit about l'oreal it is a house of brands which are 35 global brands uh, revenues in financial year 2021 is 32.28 billion euros 6.16 billion in operating profits and its investments in technology and uh, research is uh, is amplified by 517 patents that was filed registered in 2021 itself now l'oreal's brand portfolio is organized by divisions each of which has a specific vision of beauty by consumer universe and distribution channels so on your right you will see l'oreal looks which is the uber fashion thing which has lancome is saint laurent prada diesel Asaro, and the likes and the consumer products which is l'oreal maybelline garnier the professional products used by salons which is the l'oreal professional Redkin, metrics and then active cosmetics which is the dermatologist logical services in terms of Sarah Bay. Now, in terms of the strategic choices that L'Oreal has made for itself, uh, has, has, is chooses to pursue, the first is we, we talked about globalization, meaning the globalization of brands with respect, which respect local differences. And the globalization strategy is premised on two pillars. One is custom made or personalized, which is it is not a standard product push environment any longer, and it is inclusive because it does not have a fixed definition of beauty and it respects local customs, traditions, Skin, the skin color and so on and so forth that's the one big strategic choice delivering localization and again to re-emphasize localization is about inclusivity and custom made all of which we will see how technology is enabling this to happen the second important thing is l'oreal of the future where it says that the products and the or the formulas that l'oreal uses is based out of sustainable uh, made out of sustainable uh, product, uh, sustainable elements, and therefore it is going to minimize its impact on climate, water, and biodiversity, natural resources. It runs a program called L'Oreal of the Future, wherein 100%, wherein by 2025, 100% of its sites will be carbon neutral. By 2030, 100% of the water will be be recycled, and also by 2030, the Input materials will come from sustainable sources or input materials for its formulas will be coming out of sustainable sources. Now, the advantage that L'Oreal tries to drive, very similar to Carrefour, while Carrefour wants to also drive, uh, enable people to eat healthy and is offering a wide range of products and services for that to happen, L'Oreal's distinctive offer is sustainability, which is integral to its product offerings from a consumer product, uh, which is like Garnier, where it is made out of sustainable raw materials, similar to Lancome's sustainability program, and all its back Packaging are also sustainable and can be traced back to its sources. The second important thing is omnichannel strategy, which is the fee digital beauty, which means 
L'Oreal recognizes that its customers are going to interact with its brand through multiple channels and it is using technology and also physical presence to enable the interaction so that consumers get what they want and can customize the products and services as they go along. Now, to be able to deliver these two advantages, L'Oreal's beauty tech activities is a string of investments around consumer experiences, which is helping it to deliver this advantage. Now, there are three elements to this uh, uh, to this postulate. One is reinventing consumer experiences and how consumers are going to interact with the brand. What kind of products are they building, which enables consumers to get personalized products and internally, how are they transforming themselves? So let's start with reinventing consumer experiences. And with that, I'll start by um, the, the theme here is enhanced services, customization, hyper-personalization at scale. And uh, this uh, brand called E Saint Laurent has created a um, technology for, with a L'Oreal digital accelerator called the Rouxour uh, Measure, wherein it can create a customized lip shade for an individual you then actually can kind of create a customized uh, customized lipstick on the go and it happens using three basic uh, methodologies the first is the shade wheel a shade wheel is a circular color offering more than thousands of possibilities and you try on the shade virtually and convert it into a real lipstick the second is the shade match pick up any real life color Turn it into a personal lip shade by clicking the picture and sending it back to the uh, to the device. And the third is a shade stylist. Scan your outfit and get a recommendation of a lip shade to match your look. Second, so so this is a, a kind of sounds like magic, but it's 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 a very interesting product, and it has already been commercialized in the year 2021, been used across 30 odd locations in financial year 2022. The second one is the virtual try-on. You can go to the Garnier website, leverage Modiface as a technology, and I'll talk to about Modiface in a bit. It uses an advanced face tracking algorithm and can detect and virtually apply hair color and tell you how you look if you put in, a, say, a burgundy color of your hair shade. Similarly, you know, the consumer's interaction with digital in terms of its uh, medical beauty, being a medical beauty leader, it is a leader in dermocosmetics and, uh, you know, it uh, uses an app uh, called Vichy, Vichy uh, Dermatology can actually give you a recommendation of what kind of skincare lotion can you use. The second one, the second theme. So, so this is all about how consumers are interacting with the organization or the company L'Oreal or its different brands to create customized and curated cosmetics which suit the individual as against the conventional big beauty model of buying a product off the shelf, right? So this is the, again, in continuation of localization, this is curated beauty and personalized beauty delivered at scale. The second is, innovation through products. It has delivered a product, developed a product called Perso, which is a three-in-one personalized beauty device using artificial intelligence, you, you, artificial intelligence and augmented reality. You can create skincare, lipstick and foundation on demand. And as you use the product more and more, it becomes smarter as would happen in any AI application. Now in this application, again, Perso uses the Modiface technology to analyze your skin and then accesses important environmental factors like humidity, pollution, air quality, and skin issues like wrinkles, dark skin, fine lines, poor visibility, and dispenses a perfect formula for you as against a standard formula that a normal product would. So this again is a game changer. This with the YSLs, uh, Rochure measure technology are transforming beauty from being a product push environment into a hyper personalization at scale process. The third important thing is industry 4.0. I mean, the factory movement and the way uh, agile manufacturing has been happening started way back in L'Oreal in 2010 in terms of 3D printing, use of VR and AR technologies and so on and so forth. So the entire end goal is to reduce product development cycles and building personalized products. So the entire supply chain 
over the last 11 to 12 years has been geared to offer this personalization. Once that has happened, then only can these products come to face. Or the other things that it is doing in terms of reinventing consumer experiences is creating more and more customer uh, in consumer interactions through digital where you can get one-on-one -on -one, uh, consultation with stylish and you can get virtual try-ons and so on and so forth. Now, the, the, the other important thing to recognize is the underlying technology, the game-changing technology has been modified. Modiface was a Canadian leader in artificial intelligence and AI, which was acquired by L'Oreal and has been used as a key beauty technology platform and which has been enabling L'Oreal to give very uh, uh, give real time results in terms of virtual try on and a virtual try on is I mean, I want to use a particular lipstick. How would it look on my face? So it actually captures an image of a face, does an AR of augmented reality supervision, uh, superimposition, and and shows a real image of you using that particular product, which which transforms, which is in a sense a game changer. Using um, multiple uh, and and it is used across all its product lines very effectively to curate beauty products for the end consumer with that i mean to conclude its product and distribution strategy in terms of l'oreal and its ability to interact with the uh, with consumers is transformed using technology and the other important thing is fundamentally speaking all big brands have a brand salience or a positioning of the brand so l'oreal has been able to redefine its brand salience and said that what the consumer wants is what I'm going to deliver is a bold and distinguishing move. So there are multiple things that technology can enable, but the ability to give away brand power in the favor of the consumer makes L'Oreal great and doing it at scale across multiple geographies is an act of art. So, so this is again uh, another example of how digital amplifies strategy. I hope you liked it. Uh, it takes a lot of research to build uh, these, uh, build the content and shoot the videos. Uh, do share and like and comment as you deem fit. Till next time, have a great day. Thank you.